Well, it's March 1st, uh, 2012. After a extremely mild winter, uh, things are blooming. We've had very few days, freezing days uh, all winter, but especially here in February, running around in short sleeve shirts, you know, it's unbelievable. Uh, so I'm going ahead and uh, to uh, a lot of people, you know, they don't like the uh, chemicals in the hives, and you know that's a that's a good thing. Uh, but to combat uh, varroa mites and tracheal mites, and to some extent the small hive beetle, uh, I use formic acid, and I just want to show you exactly uh, how we do it. And <clears throat> I've got my stuff right down here. I've got a pan uh, that I'll put my pad in. I've got a container that has 66% formic acid. Um, we dilute, usually we buy 90% formic acid and we dilute it down to 66%. But we're using these uh, meat pads like you would, you could buy at any uh, uh, meat supplier, probably give you some. Uh, it says dry lock pad, uh, this side down. The side that has the writing on it has some real very small holes. But what we do is we take, I have a syringe here marked off, and we put anywhere three quarters of an ounce to an ounce of formic acid in this container. Now you have to be real careful with this because the stuff really is, uh, you're not supposed to breathe it, but here, the side with the writing, I'm going to put that down where that it will all soak up. I just usually take my syringe, uh, poke it down a little bit, take my pan and go back and forth, move it around just to make sure that I have everything soaked up. You don't want to touch this with your hands. I usually just pair, use a pair of pliers, lift it up. Now I'm going to put the side that I had down, the side with the writing, that's the side that I'm going to put up in the hive. <clears throat> so normally, you know, I just shake it off a little bit to make sure that I've got everything off of it. And then uh, I stick it down here on the, on the top bars of my brood box. Let me see. Now I dropped it. Let me see if I can get the top off here. Hopefully the girls, they don't, they don't like this very much when you put it down. The writing is up. Put the top back on. We usually treat, do this. Uh, you want to do it when the, the highs for the day are, you know, 60s and 70s. Definitely, if it's if it's more than 80 degrees, uh, I don't even like to do it in the high 70s. This formic acid forms a gas, and that is what uh, kills the the varroa mites. But if it's much more than high 70s. I think uh, that it would probably work on your bees also. But we do this for three weeks in a row. Uh, usually try to get the temperatures between 50 and 70 degrees. And uh, since I've been doing this, I haven't had any trouble with varroa or tracheal. Uh, and it's really, I don't know if that's completely everything, but it's its held down my, the, small hive beetle population too. Very little trouble with that. Uh, doesn't seem to affect the bees any. Last year I did not treat in the spring. Uh, that was fine. So I may start doing it every other every other year. But that's uh, the way we treat for varroa mites and tracheal mites uh, with formic acid.